Hello. Welcome to Tech Edufi HQ, home of ICT Education for Hall. Classification of computer according to purpose or functionality. The computers under this classification are General Purpose Computers Special Purpose Computers General Purpose Computer These computer systems are specially designed and developed to work with standard functions and applications of computers. These computers are extremely helpful for word processing, creating and editing graphics, playing songs and movies, creating small applications, working with spreadsheets, etc. These computers are inexpensive compared with special purpose computers. A computer that performs everyday tasks and operations given to it falls in the category of general purpose computers. Examples of general purpose computers are personal computers such as notebooks, tablets, laptops, desktop, smartphone, etc. Special purpose computer. These computer systems are designed and developed to perform particular tasks and operations and derive necessary results with great speed, accuracy, and consistency. These computers have more processing power, storage capacity, and speed than general purpose computers. These computer systems allow additional devices and components to connect for better performance and enhanced functionality. These systems can have multiple CPUs, central processing unit, for more speed and handling power. They are widely used in the following areas. Scientific research. Military. Weather forecasting. Crypto mining. Space science etc. Examples of special purpose computers are supercomputers, workstations, servers, automated teller machine, point of sale, ultrasound machine, ECG machine, etc. Classification according to size. Computer classification according to size can be categorized into four different types mentioned below. Microcomputer, mini computer, mainframe computer, supercomputer, supercomputer, supercomputers, with excellent storage capacity, are considered the fastest computer in data processing and handling. They are big and have multiple CPUs for faster data access and processing. The supercomputer also uses parallel processing for better functionality, performance, and processing. A speed is measured or counted in flops, floating point operation per second. It can perform a speed of over 1 billion per second. The supercomputer is designed and developed for special purposes like scientific research, quantum physics, weather forecasting, military and defense, genetic engineering, nuclear engineering, data mining etc. Examples of supercomputer. IBM SARA, Sunway Taihu Light, Frontera Dell C640 Dell EMC, Trinity Cray XC40, SuperMook NG, Lawson IBM Power System. Supercomputers are faster machines and emit lots of heat and energy, therefore, it is mandatory to use an air conditioner to keep the devices and components of the computer cool and avoid physical damages like burning and overheating. The supercomputer work and manages applications with tremendous speed. Supercomputer is a million times faster than mini, mainframe, and microcomputers. Supercomputer's speed is extraordinary because of the thousands of processors installed on them. Mainframe computer. These computers are small in size compared to a supercomputer. Mainframes are fast and can store a massive amount of data and information. They have extremely impressive data processing and handling abilities, and hence the number of users can connect to them quickly for better data sharing and functionality. Mainframe computers can connect to another microcomputer to form a network. They support tens of thousands of remote computers and can work as a host computer. They are pretty good when considering working with different operating systems. They can store data and deliver millions of instructions per second. Mainframe computers are used in banking, government databases, airline and railway reservation, Population database. Examples of mainframe computer are IBM Z890, Hitachi Z800, CDC Cyber Series, IBM 4381, etc. Mini computer. Mini computers are considerably smaller in size compared to supercomputers and mainframe computers. Mini computer consists of more than one central processing unit, making them faster than microcomputers. Mini computers work slower than mainframe computers. Mini computers are called workstation or midrange computers. Mini computers are extensively used in small businesses and medium sized companies. Examples of mini computers Micro VAX, IBM OS 400, VAX, Texas Instrument TI 990, microcomputers. Microcomputers are compact in shape and size and use a microprocessor, processor, or CPU for processing and calculations. They are comparatively relatively smaller than other computers. The microprocessor is cheaper than the technology used by mini, mainframe, and super. 
This computer can be accommodated inside a briefcase and placed on a desk. Therefore this tiny computers are called microcomputers. The microprocessors are also known as the heart or brain of a computer. The primary function of the microprocessor is to perform arithmetic and logical operations at high speed with great accuracy. Microcomputers can perform trillions of operations per second. The speed of the microprocessor can range from megahertz to gigahertz. There are different types of microprocessors. They are single core processor, dual core processor, quad core processor, hexa core processor, octa core processor. Microcomputers are also called PC personal computers, because they can only be used by a person at a time. They are used in small businesses for file handling, word processing, and spreadsheets etc. and can perform multiple tasks simultaneously. Examples of microcomputers include laptops, desktops, smartphones, embedded systems, PDAs, PalmTop etc. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.